there, it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts, UK independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Um, today is a miserable grey snowy day here in South Oxfordshire, or certainly at the time when I'm recording this. This is the weather. Um, so I wanted to bring some spring into our days. Um, and this is the card I came up with. Um, so it uses a really old favourite. Um, it uses Blooms and Wishes. Sorry, I've got all the stamps that I'm going to use on the front. Um, this has been around for a few years now, um, and I thought it was time to bring it out again. Um, thing to be aware of when you're looking at this particular stamp set is that the images are shown at 80%. So, for example, that goes there. This one goes up here. So they are quite substantially bigger. Well, they're, they're, 80, they're shown at 80%. Um, so clearly. So let's get started because this shouldn't take long. There's lots of ink and quite a bit of stamping. Let me just pop that so you can still see it just about. So we are using Peekaboo Peach. It'll be going soon. Uh, Wisteria Wonder. Sweet Sugar Plum. It'll be going soon. Wild Wasabi. I keep forgetting to use Wild Wasabi, but it's actually a really nice spring colour and so saffron. So I'm going to start with Wisteria Wonder. I am using for my card um, Peekaboo Peach as my base. Um, did I? I forgot to put an insert in there. Oh well, um, I have an insert. Um, I'm using Whisper White for the stamping layer. I'm using Whisper White to go inside and Wild Wasabi as my mat. Um, the dimensions of everything will be on the blog post that is linked immediately below in the description bar below this video. It will take you straight to this blog post, no having to sort out um, which date we're on or any uh, malarkey like that. Um, it's a straight direct link to the blog post that you need. So I start with one of my larger um, images because you can fill in with smaller images but it's hard to fill in with large ones. So Wild um, Wisteria Wonder and this floral. Uh, this floral is one of these ones that's meant to look pixelated. Um, in fact all of these are meant to look pixelated. Um, I have said this before but repetition good. Um, ooh, that's got a blip on it. Um, it's just a bit of a bit of gick. Um, stamp off the edge of the card as well as uh, in the middle. It looks more meant. Um, and if you if you put it all in the card, it, you end up with this funny white border. Now we may come back and use that one again, but for the moment, that is all I want that one for. And it's all I want the Wisteria Wonder for. Uh, I'm now gonna come in, actually no, I'm gonna come in with wild wasabi and some of the leaves because the leaves are um, actually they fill a bigger space than you might imagine because they are on stalks. Um, now I just decided that when I was making the original card that this particular leaf was associated with the wisteria wonder um, flower and I have no idea, oops that's not very well stamped is it? I have the joy of photopolymer. Um, I have no idea why I decided that um, this leaf was associated with this. Oh dear, I really am not stamping well. That's better, except now I've got a double thing. That's obviously where the sentiment's going to go. Um, so yes, I don't know why I decided that this was going to be um, associated with the Wisteria Wonder, but hey. Um, Nothing wrong with having some of these coming in, or indeed um, coming in that side either. So that's that one, but I want to come in with one of the others as well, because this is quite a large filler. Um, this is meant to have um, two-tone, so don't worry that it's two-tone, because it's meant to. And these I'm just putting a bit more kind of any old wear. Mm, any old wear. There, I think. 
right, so that's, that's filled quite a bit of space um, and I now feel comfortable to come in with some of the other images. I'm going to come in with Peekaboo Peach. I will need the was well, wasabi again uh, because obviously I'm going to put some more leaves in. I say obviously, I am going to put some more leaves in. It may not be obvious, but I am. And again, you'll see that I am stamping off the edge of the card as well. And I'm trying to fill in uh, some of the spaces that um, I've been, I've left. Um, rather than going in the middle, I'm trying to fill in some of the sort of corners, if you like. I may come back with that. I don't know. Uh, right, okay. Gosh, that's not clean. Um, it's better. Not brilliant, but it's better. Right, so saffron. Ooh. Because I'm trying to do this quickly. Of course, it's um, not playing ball. Um, so this just kind of goes... As far as I'm concerned, it can be used for anything, but I'm using it as a filler for the spiky flower. No idea what the spiky flower is. I have no idea what any of these flowers are, frankly. I like flowers. I garden. I have no idea what half of the plants in our garden are, mostly because we inherited them. Um, so, as I didn't put them in, how am I supposed to know what they are? Right, so that's that for the moment, certainly. Right, we'll come in with sweet sugar plum and our last of the smaller flowers that I'm using. Mm, just. So this really is going to be a question of finding somewhere it will fit and filling that hole with it. Um, and then we'll come in with some of the, f the leaf images and see if we can fill in some of the spaces that are left. Yep, that'll do for the moment. Right, so, wild wasabi back. I don't know why I don't use wild wasabi more, because it is really very pretty. Right, there's another of these funny little Fru fru leaves, and by fru fru leaves I mean one that stamps two tone, um, and it's quite a good filler. Um, so I'm going to use it as a filler. I should be using a smaller block um, because at the moment I am inking the block as much as anything else. Bit in there. Uh, I think I might want to. No, I'll just. For the sake of speed, I will pop that there. And we'll have. Right, that will do. Uh, with a bit more time, you can be a bit, a little, bit more um, careful about where you stamp your bits. Right, we're coming back in with Wisteria Wonder. And for you, and I need, I have a piece of Whisper White card. This happens to be thick Whisper White. It actually doesn't matter whether it is thick or standard. I just happen to have a piece of Wisteria Wonder, uh, good grief, uh, thick Whisper White hanging around. Um, I'm going to use the Pretty Label Punch. This, if you remember, is from the annual catalogue. Uh, we do seem to forget what's in the annual catalogue, just because we've got celebration and the spring summer. Um, right, so I'm also going to punch this in a scrap of uh, Peekaboo Peach. And the Peekaboo Peach, I am going to cut kind of in half. Um, and then with some 
multi-purpose glue I am going to layer this up so it looks like it has got a bigger punch behind it and because it's glue you can move it around so that it's kind of where you want it and then again in this side pop it down and then you can let's just say move it to where you want it to be now I'm going to make sure that these this end is beautiful and if there's any bits hanging out it's going to be hanging out the other end because I'm going to cover that with a bow so it doesn't actually matter right okay slightly different for me in that I'm going to map this up with where are we some snail and the bit that's different will be coming in a moment so this now where was the bit I went wrong there Ooh, uh, no. Um, it's a teeny weeny layer. Now you could, if you wanted, punch something out of the middle um, if you're um, worried about the amount of cardstock I've used. Right, now on this one I use the Grow Grain um, ribbon in Peekaboo Peach. I have in my ribbon scraps a piece of the peekaboo peach crinkle um, and I'm going to do my same usual auntie betty bow two loops tie them in a half knot so just put your loop pretend your loops are ends and just tie them in a half knot and then you can adjust your bow how you want it and it's a much easier way of doing a bow that's just for show because you can play with the positioning that will do and just trim my ends Ooh. and here this ribbon is much easier to cut if you put some tension on it otherwise it's a bit floppy oh. it's also better if you cut the ends to be you know kind of the same length right okay those bits of scrap that isn't right so I'm going to attach this with uh, multi-purpose adhesive just making sure that I'm covering up my mistake there because that's part of the game, is making sure people don't know where your mistakes are. Right, I know I have got a piercing tool, there we are, buried under the wild wasabi. Uh, glue dot onto the back of my bow. Just straighten that out a bit. Might do that at a slightly straighter angle. And actually a bit jaunty, I think. There we are. That's better. Right, okay, so this is a bit that is slightly different for me because I'm going to pop um, dimensionals on the back of my mat. So I need quite a lot. One, two, three. And then I'm going to have this as the um, raised area. It probably, for UK purposes, would not go through as large letter. Um, because we've got a knot in our, oh, it's not playing. Uh, we've got a knot in our um, ribbon, but um, this is my if in doubt, just yank the backs of your dimensionals off. There are various tricks around putting your thumbnail into the middle of the dimensional, which helps bring the ends up, but that's good for now. Right, and then because it is not white or cream, I tend to put an insert in. And it's basically my rule, white or cream, I won't put an insert in, every other color I will. So I'll go back 
after I finish this and put one in here. So there we go. The same but different. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember, Celebration carries on till the end of March. Uh, every £45 you spend before sh uh, postage and packing, you get a free item from either the Celebration, uh, the first or second release Celebration catalogue, or the leaflet that came out um, that went live on the 15th uh, of items that are in the um, spring summer annual catalogue and various other promotions that are now going to be free until the end of celebration with a qualifying order uh, to see any of those go over to my blog linked below and just click on the tab that says catalogues and you'll find the annual the spring summer and the celebration leaflets uh, there if you would like to shop with me, I would be delighted if you could um, help support me. Uh, I am aiming in my dreams. Uh, I'm hoping to um, win the incentive trip to Greece. It's a cruise around uh, the Greek islands, um, which would be lovely. I, it's a stretch, but if I don't aim for it, I won't get it. Um, if you don't already subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. If you don't subscribe to my mailing list, there is a link for that either on my Facebook business page or at the very bottom of the web version of my blog. Um, and if you fill that in, if you're in the UK and you're over 18 and not a uh, stamping up demonstrator, I'll pop you into a free drawer I'm doing uh, that runs to the end of the month and I'll draw it at the beginning of April and the prize is a little gift of um, some crafty stuff which is basically going to be a little kit that I've put together. Um, I haven't decided what's in it yet but there will be, it's, it's getting bigger. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me again today and I will see you again very soon I hope. Bye!